Hi, my name is Officer Ochoa, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Do you need to update any information on your application? Can I see your permanent resident card and your appointment letter? What is your full legal name? Have you used any other names? Are you going to change your name? Now we are going to do the civics test. I will ask you 10 questions and you will need to answer six of them correctly to approve this portion of the interview. The first question, name two national US holidays. What is the rule of law? What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who is in charge of the executive branch? What is the highest court in the United States? When was the Constitution written? How many U.S. Senators are there? Who signs bills to become laws? What is an amendment? Great. Now please read the following sentence. Now please write the following sentence. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. What is your current address? How long have you lived at this address? What is your previous address? What is your marital status? When did you get married? What is your spouse's name? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? How many times have you been married? Were you ever married in your country of origin? Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Are they your biological children? Were your children born in the United States? What is your phone number? Bye. 
What is your email? Okay. What is your country of origin? What is your date of birth? How tall are you and how much do you weigh? Can you confirm the last four digits of your social? When did you become a permanent resident? How did you get your permanent residency? Are either of your parents US citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? What do you do for a living? Give me one moment before we continue. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Okay, let's continue with the interview. What is the name of your employer? How long have you worked there? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? What date did you return? Where did you travel to? How many trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Can you tell me what a jail or prison is? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard, been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, helped anyone to enter or tried to enter the United States illegally, gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling, failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Can you tell me what a habitual drunkard is? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, 
fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Can you tell me what a militia is? Have you ever claimed to be a US citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Why not? Why have you never voted? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces for any reason? Can you explain what cited means? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? 
can you tell me what the form of government of the United States is? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? And if the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Great. At this time, you have approved your citizenship interview. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.